Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick review of this thing here. This is the ISDT D1 Smart Charger. Now this is one of their latest chargers and it isn't particularly expensive. I'll put links down below. Uh, ISDT stockists should have this in by now. Now this is an interesting one because I already have the ISDT D2 and I really love that charger. It's one of two chargers that I use on a regular basis and it stays on my bench pretty much all the time. It's a perfect two LiPo charger. So when I saw this one listed, a D1, I thought, you know what? That's definitely worthwhile getting in and having a look. So while I unbox this, let me go through some of the specifications. This will work on either AC or it'll work on DC. So it's a dual voltage power supply, which is a really cute feature. It means you can plug it into the wall and also potentially use it at the field. Uh, standard AC input from anything from 100 to 240 volts. So work in the USA, continental Europe, the UK, and it'll also work from DC 10 to 30 volts. So really that's kind of 3S and above. Maximum input current on the DC is about 14 amps. Charging current will go from anything from 0 0.1 to nice 10 amps. Discharging current will only go from 0.1 amp to 1 amp. Nice to see that being listed. So this can be used as a discharger, but it isn't going to be one of those kind of big block things like I've looked at on the channel before. Balance current is a nice whopping 1.8 volts per cell that should get it balanced nice and quickly maximum discharging power is 10 watts maximum charging power is different depending on whether or not you're using ac or dc on ac it's only 100 watts dc it's 250 watts and that should provide plenty of power with the single battery connection that's on the unit it will support all the usual range of batteries. It's a reasonably weighty thing, about 460 grams. It is 126 by 115 by 49 millimeters. So it's desktop size. So when you plug the unit on, it powers up instantly. There's no power switch, which is a little bit of a shame. I would have liked that for AC so that I could just leave it plugged into the wall. So we have a short press in the middle button will allow you to select all of the settings for the battery that you're about to charge. Uh, 1 to 6s, uh, what the final voltage is going to be. There's also destroy on here, which is really cool. That's going to discharge the battery to absolutely nothing, which is perfect when it's come to the end of life. All the usual things, high voltage, LiPo, lithium ion, all of that goodness. Let's keep it on LiPo. The number of cells, the charge current, there's some kind of shortcut ones at the top, and then it increments in a tenth of an amp. So you can choose exactly what you need. We'll go for 2.2 here. Long pressing the button takes you into the settings for the unit itself. You can decide the volume that you want, whether you want the completion tone. There's also a light and a dark setting, which I really like. The dark settings, I think, much better. If this is in the corner of a room, particularly in the wintertime, it's nice and dark. Uh, that screen kind of lights up the entire corner. And when with the battery plugged in, just once you've got all the settings, ready hit the start button and surprise surprise it just looks like this there's nothing really particularly interesting pressing the buttons up and down doesn't appear to kind of take you onto any different screen it just kind of sits there and works away and when it's finished you get the normal kind of isdt trilling noises and your battery's charged so with a charger like this it just kind of works it does exactly what it says on the tin which you might think it's pretty obvious and damning with faint praise, but actually uh, some of the chargers are made to better standards than others. And this one seems to be from ISDT as good as the other ones that I've had. It's one of the brands that I trust when it comes to chargers. The quality of the build is fantastic. It has written on it the different wattages for the AC and DC current. Uh, it's easy to navigate, 6S capable. I like the nighttime function and I also like the ability to discharge a pack to zero. And the way I do that at the moment to discharge a pack is I just use an automotive light and just goes onto the XT60 connector and discharges it. It's quite nice to be able to do it in a controlled way like this. Although, as it says on the box, never leave this unattended when you're charging or discharging and always use a LiPo safe bag. I didn't just for ease in the video. There are a couple of things to be aware of. Uh, really disappointed that there aren't more than one output on here. It would be lovely to have a more modern charger than my beloved D2 that I could do two batteries at once. Uh, obviously that halves the time you spend on a day before you go to the field charging battery after battery. 
When I ordered mine, there's only the EU plug, as you saw on the unboxing, so I had to snip the end off that and put a plug on the end. Hopefully the other versions are going to be available, and that means that you can just plug it in. Uh, and I do like the way that they've made it so that it's either or for the power supply, so you can't accidentally plug both in at the same time and uh, get into trouble. That's quite some smart design. Just be aware, the XT60 connector and the balance port are reasonably far apart, probably the farthest apart that I've seen on any charger that I've looked at. Uh, it would have been better, I think, to have the USB port and the uh, balance port swapped over. Some batteries don't have particularly long balance leads, so be aware of that. If you have lots of batteries that have relatively short balance leads, uh, more tended to be on older packs. Modern packs tend to have longer leads. Just be aware of that. I've had a couple of batteries here that I couldn't charge on this without an extension for the XT60. And finally, the other disappointment for me was there isn't a resistance measurement, or I couldn't find one on here. I like the ability to check what the internal resistance of the cells are in a LiPo battery just to see where it is in its life. Again, see my video on battery resist, internal resistance and why that's important. I think all modern chargers these days should have that resistance checking in it. And who knows, this is a firmware upgradable box. It might come in a future firmware version. So in summary, if you are looking for a nice solid charger for a single battery that you can use both in the home and also at the field on a DC power supply, then this is a nice option. Got my fingers crossed they bring out one of these with multiple charging ports and the ability to measure internal resistance too. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.